up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are doing a review, not even really a review, it's like first look slash comparison of the Louis Vuitton ring agendas in both medium and large. So we are very early in my agenda journey, but once I started looking into it, it was just this rabbit hole of organization and notes and paper and pens that has just been missing in my life. Like I've always loved notebooks, stationery, and pens, and I don't know why I never decided to get into an agenda. Like I remember my mom having one and she would just have this thing with her all the time and it just had everything and I never understood why until now. So I have started my agenda journey and we are going to be talking about both the medium and the large I'm going to explain why i have these two momentarily because i've only shared this one with instagram but anyways we are going to dive right in and get to the video so if you're new here my name is Alyssa lenore and if you're a fan of luxury goods handbags reviews fashion hauls vlogs please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you know when i post new videos and also feel free to check out my Instagram where I post every single day. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So a couple of weeks ago, I started to look into agendas. Now for notebooks, I normally just write in this Sology notebook that I have. It's got a bunch of stickers on it and I've had it for a few years now and it's just kind of really random. There's no system to it. It's got a bunch of notes. It went from like, planning my content and then I had financial stuff in here and then I had house planning things so it's a little bit all over the place. Don't get me wrong, I still love this notebook, still gonna keep it, still gonna use it, but there is just something really nice about an agenda that you can customize based on your needs. And call me naive, but I never thought of looking into an agenda and realizing how many different kinds of papers you could put in this thing and how many different kinds of papers people actually designed and put out there. So this all really started back in early June when I was researching black owned businesses and I came across cloth and paper. Cloth and paper has the most beautiful agenda inserts I've ever seen. And looking at those made me realize like, I kind of want an agenda. So I wanted to kind of just give it some time and also save up for it. You guys know that I have sold like a couple of bags, so this was my chance to get into the agenda world. And yes, it's extra, but I really love the way that this LV one looks. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek in a little bit. Once I saw that the cloth and paper ones would fit the LV one, that's when I started to do some research. I looked online, they didn't have any available. I was also saving up for my car, so I was just trying to be mindful of my finances and whether or not it would fit into my budget for the month. So this month it worked out. And so I got myself the medium agenda. I contacted my friend that works at LB. I had one in stock, ordered it over the phone with her, had it delivered, started using this, fell in love with it. And then I realized that this size, which is the personal size, has its pros and cons. And then that's when I started to consider maybe I should have gone a size bigger. So, super extra, contacted my friend, got the large as well. This is definitely a great kind of primarily at home kind of agenda, book, notebook, whatever you wanna call it. And I will go into the differences between the two in a little bit. So the refill pages that I have are all from Cloth and & Paper and Ashley from Cloth & Paper actually gave me a discount code to share with you guys. So if you actually want to shop Cloth & Paper, I will also have the links of the exact pages that I got down below. You can use Alyssa10 for 10% off her site, no minimum, just enter it, get what you need and that's it. I purchased all of mine and when I was planning on filming this video, I reached out and she was able to give me a code to share with you guys. So there are a couple things I wanna show you guys about the notebooks, so we're gonna do that. And then we are going to go into a little Q&A that you guys sent in, so that hopefully I can help you guys answer your questions. So we're gonna get started with the medium ring agenda. So just to show you guys the size in comparison to my phone, this is it next to my 11 Pro Max. 
So you can see how it's a really great size for just kind of keeping on the go with you. If I don't know if you have like a meeting, you can easily just grab this and be on your way. Now I'm just gonna take you guys through my agenda to show you how I have it set up. So when you open the agenda, I just have like a couple of pockets over here. All I really have is like a train ticket and a card from a dealership that Marco and I went to when, since I am car shopping. So you get these slots, which is perfect for on the go with you. Uh, I figured this would be great for me to keep track of gift cards and receipts or anything that pertains to like daily organizing. I just have a little Loewe uh, card over here that I thought was nice and this one train ticket that I never got to use. So I'm just keeping that on deck with me. I got these black dividers from Cloth and & Paper and I thought that it was a good place to put my Cloth & Paper nude sticky notes. So I have these right over here in case I need to jot something down really quick and it's been really great for just making quick annotations off a phone call or any just things that I need to add to my daily plans. So we open this up and this is my super, super tiny handwriting. So this was from a couple of days ago, nothing too crazy on this, but this is my Muji pen. This is a 0 0.38 and it's my absolute favorite. And I was really happy to know that this perfectly fit inside. So it is really nice because you do get a lot from this set. So just take that into consideration. Um, I have been writing in it on a daily basis. So it has been really useful for really just breaking down my days at home. Next section we have is for project management. Uh, I do have some stuff written on the front page, but I do really love this project management set because it's perfect for me as a full-time influencer. You know, I have to keep in mind who I'm in contact with, what the content needs and my tasks. Certain things will require multiple days of shooting. It's just a great way for me to keep track of my projects in one place. And you also have a timeline page on the back. So for the first one, I kind of wanted to keep that blank and I think it'll relate better when I have it here so that when I open up the notebook, I see the project all in one page. The next section that I have is just blank. It's just a dotted, lines, uh, which I personally love. So this is more so just a miscellaneous section of my agenda that's really great for really whatever I need. I just have blank dividers over here because I don't know what I'm putting in there yet, but this is already fairly full for this size. So that is just a quick look at the medium size agenda and I'll show you guys the large one next. So now you guys can see the large in comparison to the medium. We've got a pretty sizable difference over here, but it is a great planner for keeping at home. I do have the same kind of pages for the large because I didn't really know what I was doing with it yet. So if we open it up, there's a lot in here. So I just have some receipts. I have my paperwork for my retirement, and then I just have another sticky pad in here as well. This is just a NYX ticket that I saved from one of Marco and I's last games that we ever attended earlier this year. Might be my last basketball game ever, but that's fine. Um, yeah, just some important documents and paperwork in here. And again, project management. I have been using this project management page more so for YouTube content. So I think that's how I'm going to divide it up. I have these gold clips that I just grabbed from Amazon. I'm waiting on my dividers to come in, but again, we have the daily planner and the dotted pages are in the back as well. I do really love how many pockets are in this, so let me take everything out and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I love the largest pockets because you can really fit a lot in here. If you wanna store more documents, um, I do recommend the larger size. I am probably going to be able to use this so much more compared to the uh, medium, which kind of restricts you to just keeping cards and tickets inside. Uh, as you guys have already seen. That's just something to think about. Uh, this is definitely more 
of a compact thing. It is really comfortable to write in, again, Muji pen, but if you guys will see, you have a lot of space when you are writing. And then if you are on the other end, I'll have to tilt this way. You still have a good amount of space with your hand and it's just a lot more comfortable. For this one on the back, there's also a pocket over here in case you need to keep anything in there, maybe cash, checks, and then a smaller pocket down here. For the medium, just to show you guys how my hand writes in it. There is also a wide version if you feel like the personal size is too narrow for you. So that's just something to think about. Um, maybe you won't be able to put a pen over here if you do, it might just stick out a little bit. But I mean, I do fine with this because my handwriting is super, super small. So I am just about here when it comes to writing. It does get annoying when I'm over here. I can't really write in the schedule part unless I have this elevated. So I do try and put something underneath this section of the notebook since I'm still in the early stages of it. So that's just another thing to keep in mind if you are considering this size. If you guys are going for the medium ring agenda, you're gonna wanna go with personal or personal wide if you want a little bit more width in your pages, but I just went with the regular personal size. If you wanna go with the large size agenda, then you are going to wanna go with A5 pages. So these are A5 and I do have a couple more arriving. I have a lot of room here. So I'm thinking of adding in pockets and obviously I'll show you guys all of that once it comes in. But just wanted to show you guys an early look at my agenda, what I plan on using it for. I do really think that these are going to be so helpful and so useful. And if you have larger bags, both of these will fit just fine. If you have something more medium, then maybe you'll want to go with the more personal size. How to pick between MM or GM. So you'll want to go MM if you want something that's easier to carry, GM if you primarily want to keep it at home and want to have like more things in it. It can get really heavy, but I personally love this one for just being on the go. This is something that I would bring with me to meetings, to travel, and this is probably something that I would really just leave at home. So that's just something to consider. And also my handwriting is fairly small. It is definitely a lot easier to write in the GM than the MM, but I haven't had to like take out the sheets and write in it separately and then put it back in. So that's just something to think about. If you have fairly small handwriting, I think you can be okay with this. But again, if you just want to be more comfortable, this is definitely going to be the one for you. Pre-loved or new? So I'm gonna say new because the current pre-loved prices on these are essentially close to retail, if not more. And what's even more insane to me is that I'm seeing pre-loved ones at retail price or close to it with other people's initials in it. And I feel like whenever you have heat stamping or personalization onto a bag, that should bring the price a lot lower because obviously, unless those initials somehow perfectly work for you, it's just kind of there. Definitely suggest going new. Um, they're really hard to find online. So I do recommend going into a boutique if possible and then uh, just trying to see if they can track one down for you and have it delivered. So much of my life is digital that it's just really nice to not have to rely on technology to tell me to do something. I've been having like these agenda mornings where I just kind of sort through my day and it helps me feel really put together during this time where my schedule has just been so out of whack. How to prevent neglecting the use of an agenda and is it worth getting? So it really, really depends. Obviously, if you're dropping money on a LV one, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you utilize it. So I've been really consistent about reaching for this in the morning and making sure that I plan out my day. The days just kind of blend together, but this has really helped me just kind of sort things out. I've gotten better about keeping track of my iCal. So once I got back into that routine and rhythm, it's been nice to reinforce it with this. Best thing to do when something changes so it's not messy. I just like a nice clean line. I'm not a fan of whiteout or anything like that. Uh, maybe you can do like the tape things, but I just like a nice clean line to 
adjust or you can put a sticky note and just change something on there. Again, I am super early into my agenda game and so I'm sure the more that I spend time on these pages, the more I will realize what works for me and what doesn't. I'm keeping it really simple, daily planning. Um, I didn't get any monthly pages because I do still use my iCal for things that are just weeks ahead. So for me, this is just kind of a more day-to-day -day planning. I don't jump, I'm not jumping too far ahead, but I do think it's nice because it also just helps you be able to utilize the notebook in whichever way really just works for you. So you can use it for daily planning, you can use it for meal planning, you can use it there are literally so many different pages available. Like you will look on cloth and paper and there's tons over there. So figure out like what you think you'll need it for and then get those pages that will just best suit you. This is something that will last you the rest of your life rather than maybe a notebook that can get beat up over time and the pages will just stay nice and clean inside and the quality of the canvas is always just impeccable. I love LV canvas and I honestly just think it's a great piece to have. So that's essentially it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it super helpful because I have loved writing these over the past few days. I mean, it's still super early, but we are just beginning on this journey, but I wanted to share in case any of you guys were considering purchasing these as well. I wanted to kind of help you guys out. I'm not trying to convince you to buy both, but I convinced myself about both, so, uh, yeah. Also, a lot of other people in the planning community also convinced me for two. But obviously, if you are primarily on the go, get this one. If you are mostly at home and want to be comfortable on the pages, get this one. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll keep you guys updated on my progress with these agendas as time goes on. You'll see it in my vlogs, writing in it in the morning. And yeah, super excited to get organized and get back into just putting pen to paper and not being so reliant on digital these days, even though it is a huge part of my job. There's just something nice. And this really just reminds me of my mom's agenda that she would always carry around. She didn't have an LV one, but that woman carried literally everything in this one notebook that had all of her appointments and all of her friends numbers and all of her plans and it was just it's kind of cute i think of my mom when i use these but yeah that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed and found it super helpful as always your love and support mean the world to me and i will see you in the next one bye